Hello viewer, have you ever asked yourself of who entertains you? Who are those movie stars who you see on the TVs? Have you ever wondered about their lifestyles? What type of life they live? Stay tuned as we discuss entertainment. Welcome to By His Dress Network. I hope you have been blessed by the messages from this channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and, and click the bell icon so that we, you do not miss any video that I post on this channel. Let's begin with a prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for this time that you have given us, Lord, to share your word as we prepare for your soon coming may your spirit be with us be with all people who are going to watch this video for i pray this in the name of jesus amen all right let's begin by reading a verse job chapter number four verse number eight and it reads even as i've seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same so the Bible says so many people, there are people who plow iniquity and sow wickedness and what they reap is the same. They reap iniquity and wickedness. Now, the question we want us to look at in this video is what is entertainment? What is entertainment? Now, the definition of entertainment is an activity designed to give pleasure, enjoyment, diversion, amusement, or, or relaxation to an audience. So, entertainment is a, an activity designed to amuse you, to, inter, to give you pleasure. Now, let's look at the definition by, by syllable. We want to look at the definition, the, the real definition of entertainment. Now this word is made by is made of three syllables. The word entertainment, number one, we'll look at the first part which is inter. Inter is a verb which is also enter. It's pronounced as enter. What is to enter? Means to come in or to go into a place. The next part is ten. Ten is a verb which means to hold, to grasp, to possess, to occupy, or control. What about meant? Meant is a word. It's, it's a word which comes from the word means or the mind. So it means, meant means to keep or to hold or support together. So in short, the word entertainment means to come in and occupy and keep the mind. So entertainment, movies are made to occupy you, to, to bring ideas in your mind and occupy your mind and to keep control of your mind. Now, the question is, who entertains you? Do you know? What, what do you know about the movie stars? The people who you see playing the movies, the actors in the movies, what do you know about them? Do you know of some of the first or the earliest actors in the entertainment industry? Let me show you some of them. Look at this picture. This lady is called Marlene Munro. Now, listen to what... what um, his, her psychic says about her, she says, Marlene was a very depressed person, known for entering into deep trances before each scene. Her psychic said that when she saw the camera, this depressed woman, when she saw a camera, she lit up and was a different person. So this person was depressed 
Whenever she saw a camera, she was a different person. Now, another one is May West. Now, May West received impartation from psychic phenomenon. Her psyche also says, recalls that she, she'd pass, she, she would pass around the room saying, forces, forces, come and help me write a script. She would begin to hear voices as the plot was revealed to her. She would lie in bed in a trance like state, dictating, dictating as the spirits entered. Did you hear that? So whenever she wanted to write something for, for, her, for her role in the movie, she walks around in the, her room and says, spirit, spirits, forces, forces, what spirits are these? What forces are they? There are spirits or demons which came and gave her what to write. And all the movies, the, play, the parts which she played in the movie, it was information given to her by demons. Now another man is called uh, uh, Rudolf Valentino. Now listen to what uh, the movie director says. That every night Valentino's wife would hold a scene calling forth help from the spirit world in her creative undertaking. Then, pencil and paper in her hand, she would go into a trance and start writing. After her outpourings were typed up, they were brought to the scene the next day and given to the director. Did you hear that? So what Valentino acted was actually information given to her wife by demons and then were used in the play or in the movie to play his part. So we can see that the earliest movie stars were demon possessed. They were given information, whatever they wrote, they played was from the demons. Now today, let's look at today's movie stars, the movie actors. Are they any different? Are they different from the early movie actors or stars? Now, one of them is this man, Leonardo DiCaprio. You have seen this man in many movies, such as uh, The Titanic and many other movies. Now, listen to what um, the director of one of his movies he played, which is called Total Eclipse. He says, Leo's, Leo is like a medium. He opens up his body and mind to receive messages coming from another person's life. Ooh, what is that? So he opens up his body and mind and then receives messages from another person's life. What person is this? From the demons, dear brothers and sisters. Now, another man, this one, look at this man. This is John Depp. This man played the, the Pirates of the Caribbean and many other movies. Very famous man. Listen to his directors, his director from the movie Johnny Be Good by Kevin Simmers. It says, I know, this is himself, John speaking, John Depp. I know I have dem demons. I don't know if I want to get rid of them altogether, but I would like to experience them in a different way. So John Depp is admitting himself that he has demons and he doesn't want to get rid of those demons he wants to experience all of them hmm demons now what about oprah winfrey this is very famous very famous lady and this is what she says this is how i see acting i use my body to be a carrier for spirits of those who have come before me and again i try to empty myself and let the spirit inhabit me so he says when he goes to act the spirits the demons come into her and then they help her to act out her part do you see that they are not different from the earliest movie stars okay another man called peter sellers look at this man what does peter sellers say he says it's rather like being a medium and laying yourself wide open, saying, what do you say? I want a character to inhabit my body or 
I want a character to take charge of me so that I can produce what I hope to produce. Did you hear that? So you lay down and you meditate that a, need, a spirit comes into you so that you can produce that which you want. That's what they do in the movie industry. This is what the actors do. This is what the movie stars are saying. He, Peter Sellers, is a movie star himself. That's what he's saying. Have you heard of... Uh, let's look at Robin Williams. What does he say? A very famous guy. He says, but there is also that thing. What thing is that? It is a possession. Demon possession. In the old days, you would be burned for it. What is that? What, would, what is that? Which possesses you. As a demon, brothers and sisters. Those are demons, dear viewers. But he says, but there is something empowering about it. I mean, it is a place where you would totally... It is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Where you really can become this other force. There is a force which comes in you. That is not you, but the demons in you, when you act, comes and takes over. Now, look at this man. Very famous guy. Very famous action movie actor. And he's called Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, he played the movie The Matrix. If you've watched The Matrix, this is the guy who played the movie, the main actor. Now, from movie time, page 70, by Taylor Hackford, the director of of one of his movies called The Devil's Advocate. The Devil's what? Advocate. What a title. This is what uh, the, that man says. He says, Keanu is a very complex guy with lots of demons in him. And I was trying to tap and utilize that. This guy has been with uh, Keanu Reeves. He says, this guy is a complex guy. He has a lots, lots of demons. And this guy is one of the guys who entertains you, who you enjoy his, his movies. Now, another guy, another guy which I want you, another actor which I want you to, to look at is an actress called Fairuza Bark. No, though not well um, famous, she's, this is what to say, this is what she says about actors and movie acting. He says, a lot of actors who don't mention their names. She says, doesn't want to mention their names. She is an act actress also. She is part of the industry. She says, of course, are very much into witchcraft. The people, she's saying, the people you enjoy watching are, we are involved into witchcraft. These people are witches and wizards. The people who entertain you. And we have seen already that those people we have seen so far are saying there are demons which come into them to occupy them, to help them act and play their roles perfectly. Now, this guy is very famous. Everyone, almost everyone knows this guy, Denzel Washington. Maybe some of you who are watching this video are fans of this guy, Denzel Washington. Listen to what Denzel says about one of his movies. He says, basically, what I did was got on my knees and sort of communicated with the spirits. And when I came out, I was in charge. I couldn't have acted that. I couldn't have made a decision to play that part. Did you hear that? She says she opened herself. She prayed. She meditated. She communicated to spirits which came into her, into him. And because of the spirits which came into him, he was able to act out the part which he played. He says, if it wasn't of the demons, I could not have accepted to play that part. Hmm. Dear viewers, this is serious. This is serious. Now, still on Denzel, let me tell you something about Denzel. He played another movie which is called Malcolm X. You can search that movie, it's there on the internet. But I'm not encouraging you to watch it. Malcolm X. Now, Malcolm X was played by Denzel. They, this is a, an American black guy who lived long time ago. And they made a movie about him. Now, Malcolm X uh, was played by Denzel in that movie. And he, his director and co-actor, Spike Lee, was interviewed 
was interviewed on the role of Denzel Washington in the movie Malcolm X. Listen. Now, Spike Lee was asked, how did Denzel perfectly play the character of Malcolm X? So, Spike Lee said, Denzel had to prepare himself spiritually so that the spirit of the late Malcolm X could come into him. And he says, it is more than you can see with your eyes. When Denzel was acting, Malcolm X was speaking through him. Actually, the spirit of Malcolm X came into Denzel to help him play the part of Malcolm X perfectly. Now, I want you to look at the uh, description, description of the movie. You will see that interview um, with Spike Lee. So we can see that they are confessing that they... Denzel uses demons whenever he plays his roles in the movie. When he plays in a movie, the demons come into him and help him play. Dear viewers, this is serious. This is serious because you see the people who entertain you are much into witchcraft, are much into a demon possession. They are demon possessed. And these are the people you enjoy watching. You have to think twice about what you watch. Think twice about what you put in your mind. Are you happy that you are entertained by Satan? By people who are connected to demon possession and Satan? Dear viewer, you have to think twice about what you watch. Wait for part two and part three for more information. May God bless you as you think about who in that